Namaste, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankar Mark Tech channel. In this video, we are going to understand what are AEM templates. This video is part of AEM authoring tutorials. The link for that playlist, I will give it out in the description box. If you would like to follow these videos in the sequence, you can check out that link. If you are liking my videos, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Let's get started with the presentation. So let's first create a new page and then try to understand why we need AEM template and what exactly it is. So to create a new page, first we need to go into sites. So this is where our entire site uh, pages resides, right? So we need to first go into site and we need to select the folder in which we want to create a new page. So for example, I want to create a new page here. So then I will select this EN and then to create a new page, I need to click on this create button and here you will see an option called page. So from this is where we can create a new page. So once I click on this new page, it will ask me as to what is the template on which this page has to be based upon. So there are multiple page templates here, right? So for example, here there is a content page, hero page, experience page, product page, section page, right? So these are all the templates, various templates which we are having. We can select any of the template and create a page. Okay. So, but why do we need this template at all? So that we will see once we create the page. So I will click on the next and, and then here I will give a page name. So here I am giving the name as test page. Okay. And I just click on this create button and then open the page. So if we see this page, this header and footer, all this we haven't added on the page, right? They already got added once we create the new page. Even if I open this content tree, I don't see this component added onto this page, right? So from where are these components coming up? Okay, so these are coming up from the template. Okay, so let's see how to edit the template of this page. Okay, so to edit the template, we need to click on these three uh, sliders icon uh, which is page information and then you have to click on this edit template button okay so if you click on this edit template then the template will get opened okay so this is the template okay now if i open the content tree uh, on this template right then i'll be able to see all these things right see this header i'm able to see this component getting added so the advantage of using this template is like if you see here on the top right, you have the structure right here. So you are currently in the template structure. So you can define the structure once. Like for example, you can say on the top, I need to have the header and in between I need to have some components and below I need to have the footer. So this structure you can define once and then whenever you are creating a new page, if you select this template and create that page, then automatically this structure will be copied over onto that page. So as an author, you need not add all the time this header and footer on the page. You just add it once on the structure of the template and then the structure will get copied over. And if you see here the below one, here you have something called as allowed components, right? So this says that what are all components are allowed on this particular page. For example, this is content, content page template, right? So you are saying on the content page, you can add all these components. For example, similarly, you can have an article page. And on the article page, you may not need all these components, right? Maybe you need a breadcrumb component, title component, uh, and some date uh, author component or something like that, right? So whatever components are required on that particular page, only those components can be allowed. Okay, so that you do not give much flexibility uh, for the author to be creative. Like for example, as per the UX design on the article page, if the author is not supposed to add, uh, for example, this carousel component, then you don't allow that component on that particular page, right? So uh, in that way, you are restricting the author from doing certain things. And the second thing why we need to do this is uh, to improve the page performance. Like for example, if only four components are required on that particular page, 
you value only those four components so that page will get loaded faster instead of that if you are loading if you instead of that if you are allowing 50 components then the page performance might get impacted so another advantage is that if you want to change anything on this particular structure for example here on the navigation bar i want to change something okay and if i change uh, that thing here on the template structure then automatically all the pages which are referencing the template right in each and every other page this change will get reflected so on whenever you are on the structure and you added a component okay and if you are changing any of these things like header or footer any of these things you are changing that change will get immediately reflected on all the pages which are based on this particular template okay but similarly similar to the structure you have something called as initial content okay so if you go to the initial content here also you can add uh, certain things like for example breadcrumb is added here so what is the difference between this initial content and structure okay the difference is that whenever you are creating a new page for the first time only for the first time these uh, whatever components you are adding here will get copied over onto the page subsequently if you are doing any change here like for example on the breadcrumb those changes will not get reflected here on the page okay that is for the initial content so for the first time whenever you are creating whatever is there on the template initial content will get copied over onto the page but once the page is created if you are going onto the template and doing any changes to this component those changes will not get automatically copied over onto the page when when it is when the components are added as part of the initial content but the same components if they are added onto the structure then if you are doing any changes here on the structure then those changes will get reflected onto the page immediately like for example for the first time when you create the page all this header and footer will get copied over onto the page but once the page is created if you are changing any any of them any of the component which is part of the structure then that change will get reflected onto the page but if that component is a part of the initial content then and then if you are changing it then those changes will not get reflected onto the page okay so that's the difference between the structure and initial content okay and then uh, you have something called as layout this layout is same uh, like you can see the uh, layout in different different screens okay how how does this template look like in ipad phone and uh, uh, android phone okay so this is all you can look at uh, these things okay so once you are back into the structure here you have something called as allowed content allowed content or allowed components so apart from that on each of these allowed components you have something called as policies okay more about these policies in my next video thank you jai hind